so our first question is asking can a rectangle be a rhombus so a geometry problem here let me write this down on the right hand side here can a rectangle be a rhombus so let's think about that for a second and if you need a hint as to how to answer this question you can always look uh, look at this kind of um this kind of solution that they give you that's asking can a rectangle be a rhombus so we have to ask ourselves what is a rhombus in the first place and what is a rectangle we have to ask ourselves what's the, what's the difference between those two things and that's kind of the the crux of the question here so i'm going to draw a rhombus it might not be perfect here but i'll try to draw a rhombus Um, so this here uh, is my rhombus, and what, what it is, is it's basically a quadrilateral, so it has four sides. So this is my rhombus. So it has four sides. Um, two opposing sides are parallel. So you can say these, these two lines here, or that's not parallel, sorry, that's uh, not the same length. But these two guys here are at the same slope, and these two guys also have the same slope. So I'll say opposing sides are parallel. That's how you spell opposing, opposing sides parallel. And then we also have the interior angles here are not 90 degrees, right? This interior angles do not equal, or each interior angle I should probably specify here. So let's see, it's right here. Each interior angle is not 90 degrees. So it can't be a, so this here, so for example, this here is not 90, this here is not 90, it's not 90 as well, this here is not 90 as well. Now that, and actually, I think I did a pretty good job in drawing a rhombus here, which is nice. Um, so this here is a rhombus, and what's what's the difference between that and a rectangle? So let's see, let's look at a rectangle here. And I have a tool here, so it's actually much nicer for me to draw. So this here is our rectangle. So again, what, what are the properties of a rectangle? Well, I also have four sides. I also have opposing sides are parallel, right? These two, these two, the, the lengths of the light rectangle are parallel and the, um, and the width are also parallel, right? So I can say here that the opposing sides are also parallel. And what about the interior angles? If I look at the interior angle here, I actually have right angles, right? This guy here is in 90 degrees, 90 degrees, 90 degrees, and this here is in 90 degrees. So these are 90 degree interior angles. So that's the difference between a rectangle and a rhombus here. Interior angle here. So when we're asking, can a rectangle be a rhombus? Well, technically it cannot, right? Okay, yeah, a rhombus here, um, it says each interior angle uh, cannot equal to 90 degrees and rectangles have an interior angles that equal 90 degrees. Um, so in this case here, uh, we don't really have, um, based off these interior angles, um, it's similar, but I, but uh, it can't here be, it can't be 90 degrees here. And what they did also here is they actually drew uh, bisecting lines as well. So, and they bisect each other at right angles. So let me try, let me see if I can draw some bisecting lines for you here. those here and these are supposed to be 90 degrees here but uh, obviously as you can see it's not not the best line here and they're, these guys are supposed to be 90 degrees but um as you can see it, i didn't draw it nicely nicely enough so this here is supposed to be 90 degrees here so it says here um the solution is saying here each square is a rectangle and a rectangle can be a square if four sides have the same length that's true every square is a rhombus and a rhombus can be a square um, if all sides are, if all angles are 90 degrees. Um, so, uh, yes, that's okay. And then it says, unless a rhombus can be a rectangle, if only the sides are 90 degrees, and a rectangle can be a rhombus if uh, the sides are equal length. So, basically what I said before about the 90 degrees, right? So, a rhombus here it can only, it can be a rectangle when it equal, when, if, 
if the angles or if interior angles equal 90 degrees and then it'll be rectangle and then the rectangle can be a rhombus if all my sides are equal length right so rhombus here um the sides here are of uh equal length here so these guys are all equal one two three and four here whereas this one is definitely not equal right for a rectangle so a rectangle can be a rhombus only if the side lengths here are equal and not 90, 90 degrees because if they're equal and 90 degrees then it'll become simply a square right so i can say that um it can be a rhombus rhombus if uh interior angles are not 90 degrees and side lengths are the same and then i also have another condition where it will be a square square if side lengths are equal so this here is my answer um, a, rect a rhombus here can be a rectangle only if the interior angles are equal to 90 degrees. So therefore it will become a rectangle or actually it becomes a square uh, because, um, so this here is actually a square, sorry. It's a square if, um, uh, because all the sides are equal and the interior angles are 90. And it only, it only could be a rectangle if my sides are, um, if my sides here are not equal to each other. Um, so therefore it is, uh, so a rhombus here can be a rectangle uh, only if, um, so this statement here is wrong, right? It says thus a rhombus can be a rectangle if the angles of the rhombus are 90 degrees. If they are, it actually becomes a square. So we would actually have to modify this side length for us to um, make this a rectangle. And a rectangle can be a rhombus if side lengths are of equal length but it also, if they're equal length, then it becomes a square, right? So it depends if I modify these side lengths. So I'm, I'm going to say the solution here is incorrect because their last statement is no good. Um, this statement. I'm going to quote them as well. Thus, a rhombus can, can be a rectangle if... Uh, Rectangle can be a rhombus is incorrect because if rhombus has all angles that are 90 degrees, it would make a square. If rectangle rectangle can also be a square if side lengths of rectangle are all like therefore in order for a rhombus to be a rectangle um, I would need uh, the angles of the rhombus need to equal to equal 90 degrees and uh, I would have to change my side lengths and side lengths need to be modified. One side must be greater than the other. Um, and I'm going to say a rectangle can be a rhombus if all sides are of equal length and the interior angles are not equal to 90 degrees. So this solution here is incorrect because their statement here is false here. So the solution here is incorrect.